What's up guys, this is Lord Savine, and I just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about some Terraria stuff. I've been asked this actually in a couple of comments, people have sent me messages, people have asked me on my live streams. They want to know what I think about Terraria and what's going on with it right now. So if you guys haven't heard, of course, they decided to release a con uh, content update, but only for consoles. So the Terraria that's going to come out for consoles, that's what's going to get the update. Well, about a week ago, eh, a little bit longer than that now, um, uh, the developers posted on Terraria Online and asked how would everyone feel for a PC update. And everyone was like, oh my god, PC update, yes. Uh, and, you know, it's, that's pretty awesome. And so, ever since then, people have been asking me, hey, are you going to do more Terraria? Are you excited for the new update? What do you think about uh, any new content for the PC? Or what do you think about the uh, console getting content that the PC does and all that kind of stuff? So I wanted to answer all those questions for you guys and hear what you guys think too because I'm interested to see I mean I, I would assume that the majority of people who watch my stuff probably got here through Terraria through my tutorials or you know Blackbeard's Castle or something to that effect so something to do with Terraria so I figured everyone here likes Terraria or has some investment in Terraria so I guess the first thing I need to do is explain kind of what I think about the way they kind of left Terraria and by they I mean the developers and I mean to be honest I guess I'm just a little butthurt about that because I mean I, I like Terraria a lot I think it's a fantastic game I think it's cheap which is important for people who are just getting into PC gaming um, it I think that it provides a lot of depth and it's got a lot of uh, opportunities for multiplayer and it's really easy to multi uh, get into multiplayer too so it's a lot of fun to hang out with your friends and play it's kind of like Minecraft in fact it's a really really interesting alternative in some ways it's better than Minecraft in some ways it's not I'm not gonna get into the Minecraft Terraria debate but like it's it's definitely a pretty amazing PC game I've always recommended it to people getting into PC gaming for the first time or who don't really play many PC games, I'm like, get Terraria. It's like $5. In fact, it's like two fifty on most days. So just grab it, and and you'll you'll have a blast. So I've always liked it. It's some of the first stuff I did on my channel, and I mean, I think I have like a combined 100 videos of 300 on my channel that are Terraria. Yeah, I, I like it quite a bit. But I was a little upset with uh, how the developers kind of left it. I mean, it's kind of like... If you were to set up and spend all the money for and set up like an amazing football stadium, you know, you, you, you set up everything, it's going to be huge, it's got this humongous widescreen uh, monitor there for the crowd, it's got, you know, everything you could possibly want for it, it's got a Sonic in the middle of it so you can get your Sonic drinks while you're watching the game, you know, absolutely everything you could possibly want in this football stadium and then you only play one game a year in it. It's like, man, that's what I feel about Terraria. Terraria has a whole lot of potential. I mean, it's not just a, oh, here's some progression stuff and a little bit of multiplayer and a couple different bosses. I think they could have content updates. They could have new items, new new ways for things to interact. The fact that it's sandbox really, really helps it. I mean, there's just so much potential for Terraria. And I felt like they got to a point where it was really starting to kind of get into gear, and then they just went, boop, okay, we're done. <laughs> And I, I understand why it happened, and I, I can kind of feel for the developer, the lead developer, to some extent. You know, eh, sometimes you just want a little time to yourself. If you have a new kid coming along, you can see that too. But at least give us the, the API to be able to do mods easily. And I know there's a couple Terraria mods, and people have suggested them before, but I'm talking like... You know, in Minecraft right now, it's pretty easy to do mods. There's a lot of different ways to do it, and they're, they're as all-encompassing as, like, MineZ to just doing something stupid and adding, uh, I don't know, extra blocks or something like that. But, like, there's all kinds of ways to do it. Texture packs, everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. With Terraria, it's a lot harder to do because they didn't code that in. And I think even just a little thing like that could have really helped. So I was a little butthurt when they kind of left it. I was a little frustrated because I love that game. And it's never it's never a good thing whenever a game you love is no longer supported. So I figured Terraria was basically dead. 
part of the reason why you don't see a lot of it on my channel. I mean, every once in a while I'll do a, a, a video, but not not like I used to by any means. And so I figured it was kind of dead. And then they came out with the news that, hey, we're going to bring it out on consoles. And I'm like, awesome, cool. People on consoles should be able to play this game. I think it would be great on console. Oh, and they're going to get new content. Sweet. That means we're going to get new content too, right? Nope. Damn. <laughs> and that really, that really sucked for me because, I mean, I feel like the PC players and, you know, everyone who kind of contributed to the community, whether it be... Uh, Pedguin, uh, Ian, Hero, myself, I think I contributed at least a small part, everyone on Terraria Online, we all formed this really tight-knit uh, community that was really invested in Terraria, and then they turn around and they're going to open it up to Xbox, which is fine, there's no problem with that, I don't... I don't mind that at all. Uh, but then they turn around and, like, they're going to give them new content and not us. And I understand kind of why it happened. There's exclusivity and, you know, another developer's kind of working. Yeah, okay. 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 All right. All right. I get it. But I was really frustrated by that. And then last week, I heard the news that they are going to be bringing at least some update is what they're talking about. Nothing official. They haven't said this new update is happening. But there's a lot of talk on the on the developer's Twitter. There's a lot of posts uh, pointing towards it. It's probably going to happen. And I got to say, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, again, I'm still a little butthurt, but I can get over that. Because I think Terraria is an awesome game, and I'm not going to hold it against the developers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to hold it against the developers uh, just because I am a little frustrated that they decided to do something that I didn't like. Like, if they're going to release content for the game, I'm going to embrace that. I mean, I would pay for a $5, $10 Terraria expansion pack or something like that. I would pay, I'd pay $20 for a Terraria expansion pack. I mean, I think I paid $10 for Terraria, and I think I bought a couple other copies throughout the, you know, probably amounts to about 20 bucks or so. And I've probably gotten more entertainment, more time played more anything else out of Terraria than just about any other game I've played except for a couple. Like, the, the amount of money I've spent versus the amount of hours that I've spent playing it, there's like no comparison. Like, League of Legends kind of comes close, but I've kind of spent a little money on that, so that doesn't really count. I've spent a lot more money than I have on Terraria. But, I mean, it's I think Terraria's a fantastic game, and of course I'm going to embrace that. So, to all you guys asking, hey, have you heard about the update? Yes, I have, and I'm excited to see what they bring to it. Uh, and other people ask me, hey, are you, you know, what are your thoughts on that? And, I mean, honestly, I think it's a good thing. And I hope you guys are excited for it, too. I mean, I'm willing to let what happened with, you know, all the updates and just kind of disappearing on us and all that, I'm, let, I'm willing to let that just go, because if, if the developer is willing to provide us updates and more content, I'm going to attack it like, um, I don't know, someone who attacks them. I don't know. I'm going to, like, absolutely day one, I'm going to be on it, I'm going to make be making videos of it, I'm going to be playing it, because I like Terraria. So, hopefully you guys feel the same way, but I want to know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the update. What did you guys think about uh, the developers releasing something for console and not for PC? What do you guys think about this whole debacle? Is it has it turned you off from Terraria? Have you have you kind of walked away from it, or are you excited for the new updates? What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious to see what my subscribers think about this whole process. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I think this video has been long enough, but again, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys later. Peace.